it's Shafia from Motorist.sg and today is one of my colleague's birthday and we decided to order some pastries and cakes for him and I'm supposed to collect them at 3pm. It's only 1pm now but I'm going there already because when I look at the map, there's only parallel parking there. I've never done parallel parking before. I probably will take like around 30 minutes to park once I reach. Okay, I'm reaching already. Wow. Oh my gosh, all like parallel parking single lanes here. I don't know where to park. My boss angry already because I keep kena horn for the past few videos. But actually, never mind lah. When I took my TP, I nailed it in one take, man. How hard can it be, right? So chill lah. Okay, I remember my instructor saying for parallel parking, align yourself with the driver's seat of the car beside you. So roughly about here. But you must also know your car lah, like how long is the bonnet and the boot. One look at the lot, you must already know whether your car can fit or not in the first place. Because if not, then there's no point trying to squeeze in. So you reverse a bit until your rear passenger door is aligned with the other car's boot. Then you turn the wheel fully to the left. Look at your right mirror until you see the car behind you. Straighten the wheel and reverse some more until your rear wheel reaches the lot line marking. Then turn the wheel all the way to the other direction and continue to reverse. Make sure your car is flushed with the car behind. That's when you know you're fully inside the lot. Then you engage the drive gear and slightly move forward. Ta-da! Since I have spare time now to go and collect the food, let me show you guys how to vertical park as well. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Oh yeah, and when you want to get out of the lot, you need to reverse a bit first but make sure that you don't bang the car behind you and then you engage the drive gear and turn the wheel fully to the right check for blind spots and ta-da! You are out of the lot so for vertical parking, I actually found out an easier way of how to park properly instead of the way my instructor taught me. Okay, so you know in the circuit, your instructors will tell you to align the car straight beside the curb. My first few times doing that was a complete failure because I keep having this huge gap. So I have to go back and forth like 80 times. My friend taught me an easier way. Let me show you guys how to do it. So for example, you want to park there. So you angle your car 45 degrees like this. And look at your left mirror. Make sure you see both line markings of the lot in your mirror like that. Then you steer to the left and reverse slowly. And sometimes there's a platform or a curb behind to block you so that you know when to stop. But if there's no platform or curb behind, then you just align yourself with the driver's seat of the car beside you. But of course, if you have a sensor and reverse cam, then it's easy lah. If you find it hard, you can also open the door or wind down your windows so that you can see the view from outside. You can also get those small blind spot mirrors or you can also adjust your side mirrors to view the ground from here and then you check. Whatever floats your boat lah, right? But don't be a parking bundu and park in the middle of two lots or in the motorcycle lots. It happens, you know. And sometimes, you might think that that's a parking lot but it's actually just a gap. So you must look out for those parking lot lines to know whether it's a lot or not. Don't go and park there. Exiting a parking lot is easy. First, you engage the drive gear. And then, you inch out slowly. Look out for oncoming cars. You can also sometimes turn on your headlights to warn the other cars that you are exiting the lot. Once it's safe, you turn fully but don't turn too early okay because you might bang the car beside you and don't turn too late because you might go into the other lane and you're out or if you're a rich p plate driver you can just sit back and relax while you let your car park by itself Thank you guys.
guys for watching today's episode of my P plate series. I hope you guys picked up a few pointers on how to park properly in vertical and parallel parking lots. But if you have any easier way, of course, feel free to share them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and tune in next week to find out what I'll be exploring next. In the meantime, don't forget to give me a friendly horn on the roads if you see me. Bye!